Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Clément Anaga. I am the Rafale Program Deputy Officer of the French Air Force staff. I'm proud to be here to represent French forces and be a witness of my Rafale experience. My adventure with Rafale started 12 years ago, first as a young fighter pilot, then as a flight commander, and finally as a squadron commander. I've flown more than 2,000 hours on Rafale, and including 500 hours in war mission. I've seen this fighter aircraft grown up in the Air Force, and uh, from the training areas to operating theater, I can testify that this fighter is uh, combat proven in all types of missions since 2006. Rafale were engaged in numerous Operation in Afghanistan, Libya, Sahel region, Central Africa, Iraq, and Syria. From Ricky to strike mission and anti ship combat, from arm overwatch to air policy and air to air mission. It has proven its ability to carry out all types of mission with a small number of aircraft, flexible and agile to carry out type of mission in a single flight. It has also proven its integrity in numerous NATO exercises such as Red Flag, Tiger Meets, and Atlantic Trident. Atlantic Trident is a trilateral exercise initiative between the best fighters from US Air Force, Royal Air Force, and French Air Force. It has also proven its interoperability in numerous operations, evidenced by the Red in Syria in April 2018. A strike mission coordinated with the US in a non permissive area defended by air to air assets and surface to air systems. French Air Force wants to maintain a high level of interoperability and wishes to continue to exchange with Finland that began during exercises such as Ball Quest and Arctic Challenge exercise. Proposed by French President Emmanuel Macron in 2017, Finland joined the military project European Intervention Initiative in 2018. French forces want to continue on this path and share experience with Finnish Air Force. The Rafale program could be a step in closeness between our two countries. Rafale is a major and high potential aircraft. It has already completed more than 300,000 hours in French forces we encounter no losses to the enemy in more than 40,000 hours in operations. Low radar cross-section, multi-sensor data fusion, a system of protection and avoidance of enemy fire control allow a high survivability and a precise situation awareness for the crew. Furthermore, Rafale is very competitive with its twin engines and ground avoidance systems to guarantee safety. I want to conclude in pointing a life expectancy of the Rafale in French forces. This jet will still fly and ride French sky in the 2060s. It will be sure that it will be part of the future air combat system. Thank you for your intention.